In this video, I will demonstrate the Phoenix Meter Level 1 and Level 2 calibration. In order to perform the Level 2 calibration, you must first be in the Level 1 calibration mode. Therefore, I will first demonstrate the Level 1 calibration mode and then go directly from that without exiting to the Level 2 calibration. Mesa Laboratories recommends that you perform the Phoenix Meter Level 1 and Level 2 calibrations on a monthly basis. It is important to ensure that all parameters of the meter are functioning properly. It is especially important to keep the pH linear and accurate. Materials needed for the Level 1 calibration will include, of course, the Phoenix meter, as well as a tri station or super station, the NIST traceable sodium chloride 14.0 conductivity solution, as well as the 7.0 pH buffer solution, and when completed, you will need some calibration labels. To enter the Level 1 calibration mode, press and hold the mode switch until a flashing cal appears. Within three seconds, press either the up or down arrow switches on the back. A steady cal symbol will be displayed. Please note, a quick press of the mode switch will alternate between the functions to be measured, conductivity and pH. Conductivity, pH. To adjust mid-range conductivity, 2.0 through 19.9 millisiemens, press the mode switch until conductivity function is displayed. Now we are in conductivity only. First, you will want to connect your Phoenix meter to the 14.0 conductivity solution. Initially flush 14.0 solution through the cell, then draw a sample and observe the reading while it is flowing. When the reading stabilizes, press the up or down switch to change the displayed value to match the solution value. Now we are reading 14.0. Expel and discard the solution. Then draw fresh solution to confirm the accuracy of the displayed reading, which is 14.0. To adjust pH to 7.0, press the mode switch until the pH function is displayed. Now we are showing pH. Next, we will connect the Phoenix meter to the 7.0 pH buffer solution. Initially flush the 7.0 pH through the cell. Then draw a sample of the solution through the cell until the syringe is one-third to half full. When the reading stabilizes, press the up or down switch once and the system will automatically adjust to 7.0. Expel and discard the solution. Draw fresh solution to confirm the accuracy of the displayed reading, which is 7.0 pH. To perform the Level 2 calibration, do not exit Level 1. Additional materials needed for the Level 2 calibration include the NIST traceable sodium chloride 1 millisiemen conductivity solution and the 100 millisiemen conductivity solution. You will also need the 4.0 pH buffer solution and the 10 pH buffer solution. The Level 2 calibration mode must be entered from within the Level 1 calibration mode. To enter the Level 2 calibration mode, press and hold the mode switch until the hold and cal symbols are displayed. Adjust pH 4.0 by pressing the mode switch until the pH function is displayed. We are now in pH. Next, we will want to connect the Phoenix meter to the 4.0 pH buffer solution. Using the 4.0 solution, initially flush through the cell.
Then draw the solution until the syringe is one-third to half full. When the reading stabilizes, press the up or down switch once. The displayed value will automatically adjust to 4.0 pH. Expel and discard the 4.0 solution. Draw fresh solution to confirm the accuracy of the displayed value which is 4.0 pH. Next you will want to connect your Phoenix meter to the 10 pH buffer solution. Using the 10.0 pH solution initially flush through the cell to remove the 4.0 pH. Then draw a solution through the syringe until it is one-third to half full. When the reading stabilizes press the up or down switch once and the meter will automatically snap into the 10.0 pH. Expel the solution and then draw a fresh solution to confirm the accuracy of the displayed reading, which is 10.0 pH. Next, you will want to adjust the low conductivity range, which is 0 0.10 through 1.99 millisiemens. Press the mode switch until the conductivity function is displayed. Now we are in conductivity mode. Next, you will want to connect the Phoenix meter to the 1 millisiemen conductivity solution. Initially, flush the meter with the 1.0 millisiemen solution. And then draw the 1. millisiemen solution through the syringe until it is half to a third full. When the reading stabilizes, press the up or down switch to change the displayed value to 1. Expel the solution and draw a fresh 1 point millisiemen solution to confirm the accuracy of the displayed value, which is 1.0. Next, we will want to adjust the high conductivity range, which is 20.0 through 199 millisiemens. We will want to connect the Phoenix meter to the 100 millisiemen solution. Using the 100 millisiemen solution, initially flush through the cell. Then observe the reading while drawing solution through the cell. When the reading stabilizes, press the up or down switch to adjust the displayed value to 100. Expel the 100 millisiemen solution and draw a fresh solution to confirm the accuracy of the displayed reading, which is 100 millisiemens. It is very important to save the pH and conductivity values that we have just adjusted. In order to save these values, press and hold the mode switch until the hold and cal symbols disappear. Then you will see C1 and C2. The C1 and C2 confirm that the calibration values have been correctly saved. Now that you have completed the complete level 1 and level 2 calibration, you will need to place a new calibration sticker on the meter and make note of it in your record book. As you can see, the Phoenix meter level 1 and level 2 calibrations are simple and easy to perform and will enhance the accuracy and reliability of your meters.